Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing this evening? What's going on, my teachers? Welcome to class. Welcome to class. We're about to let class begin. So look, we have some new students tonight. We have the amazing extreme teachers. So we invited the extreme teachers tonight. So y'all could just see what's happening. We do free PD every night, Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Central. So hop on every night, join us, all right? So let's get started. So what does this look like? We do a PD and we're gonna talk about some different things and we gear this PD towards that teacher. When you say that teacher, what teacher am I talking about? That teacher that goes beyond the walls of their classroom to impact the lives of their students. They impact the lives of their students beyond the walls of their classroom. They don't mind going to see them play football. They don't mind doing anything that's not in the curriculum. They don't mind doing that thing. So it's that teacher. You know, the one that raised their hand and said, I'll do it. I'll do it for the kids. I'll do it. That teacher. All right, let's rock and roll. So do me a favor, repost, tag a teacher, repost, tag a teacher. Hey, all right, y'all, share. Tag somebody in the Extreme Teachers group. Tag somebody on your page. Just share it so the world can join us. All right, don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube page. We put these PDs there, and you're welcome to see them every night. Let's go. So session review nuggets from last night. We talked about... Uh, feedback versus grades and some other things, but this is the one that hit home for me, the feedback versus grades, because a grade is just a result. The feedback is how they grow. We don't want to just focus on the results. We want to focus on them growing, your students growing. Y'all with me on that one? We're focusing on your students growing. We are not just focusing on they're great, the results. We have to go next level. Let's get it. So tonight we're talking about improving student motivation. Yes, I know you got 9,000 tasks already and now you want me to help with their motivation. Yes, students need to be motivated by you, by you. Why am I saying that? Because you don't know if they're getting motivated at home or not. You don't know. All you know is they come to school and they don't want to be there. So maybe the value of education may not be happening in the home. So if the value of education isn't happening in the home, cool, but you have to figure out a way to motivate them. So we on this all week. I'm letting y'all know I'm going to hang my hat on this one. I'm hanging my hat on this one. So what does that look like? Let's talk about it. Give your students a sense of control, meaning it's okay for your students to have buy-in on different things in the classroom, different ways they can they can show their work. That's where you, you can do a choice board for sure, for sure. And a lot of times it takes some work on the front end, but that's okay because the kids win on the back end. But if you put it together, you can use it over and over again for different things, okay? So let's grow together. Let's not worry about that, all right? So now, when you give your students a sense of control, okay, let them decide on who, what they want to be in their groups. Allow them to feel like it's their choice. You're not going to agree with everything they do, okay? I get it, but you have to allow them to, and they got to bump their head sometimes, so don't worry about that. All right, now be clear about learning objectives. If, if the learning objective is whatever it is, make it clear to them. Make sure they understand it in layman terms, in their words. Have them rewrite it in their words. You have an objective every day. This is what we're going to do. Have them write it in their own words and have them come up to the board and write it. Yes, it's going to take a little bit of time, but guess what? If the students understand the objective of why they're learning it, what they're learning and all of that, and don't add in application, come on, y'all. Put a little application in there. They will win for you. They will win for you with you as well because they don't even know that they're winning for themselves in the beginning they're really doing it because of the relationship they have with you let me stick a pin right there think about this students will perform better if they like you come on rita pearson come on in let me let rita pearson in hold on rita at the door kids don't perform for people they don't like in the words of that's my auntie mentor 
That's my auntie. She don't even know. She in the grave and she my auntie. Rita Pearson says kids do not perform for people they don't like. So you just, they should know how to do this. Why? No, they shouldn't. So guess what? You have to. You have to go to the next level. You ain't, you're not trying to be their friend, but you have to be fair. They'll like you eventually if you're fair. But you can't treat Marcus one way and treat Johnny a different way. So if you're fair, they will. They will succeed. I promise you they will. When you connect with them, it will take them to the next level. So just be clear on what you want from them. Now, create a threat-free environment. What does that mean? Now, today in my, because I study every day, because when I bring this to you at night, I want to make sure I'm bringing you something that makes sense, right? So I'm in my studies and it was like a threat-free environment. What is that? Guess what? They should feel comfortable. They shouldn't feel, they should feel like mistakes are allowed. Mistakes are allowed. They should not feel like, oh my God, if I make a mistake, I'm going to get in trouble. They shouldn't feel like if they break something in your class or if they drop something or if they do something that didn't fall into your minutes that you really had your structured day, that it's going to be a problem. Flexibility increases ability. They will be able to succeed and go to the next level. A threat-free environment. Let's talk about the consequences because school about to go back in live for some people. Some people already lie, but I want to say this. You ready? When you think about your, I, I call them expectations. A lot of people call them rules. The rules for your classroom, the expectations. Let's talk about the bees, what they can be doing, what they can be. Be polite, be whatever. Stop talking about, I, you. don't be late. How about be on time? Your rules for your class have to be threat free as well. So let's not create these rules that set it up where the kids can fail. Let's not do that. Everything is about don't, 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 don't. Tell them what they can do. Tell them your expectations. And I believe they'll rise. But it's real easy because if your expectation is don't do this and don't do that, then guess what? Yeah, I told you not to do that. No, you made me focus on that. But if you give me the expectation when you mess up or a kid mess up and you talk to them, guess what? The conversation is different because they can say, hey, you know, what? Do we, what what's the expectation on that? That I be nice to people. Now, what do I tell you not to do? Mm -mm. Nope. So let's figure out how to help our students succeed with having more of a threat-free environment. Y'all know I'm on, my, my goal is between 10 minutes and 15 minutes. So you're not going to be on here long. I don't, Terry. All right. So motivation isn't always done at home. I'm going to say it again. Motivation isn't always done at home. And if you teach in a low income environment, then understand the value of education may or may not be there. But let me say this. I take that back. I'm sorry. It may or may not be there in an affluent <laughs> home or neighborhood. So regardless, if all parents don't value education. All parents don't value education. So guess what? So the motivation for that student to come to your class and perform may or may not be there. I've had sixth grade parents go, I, I'm done with him. I ain't got nothing. To, I, I'm done. He don't want to listen to me. I'm done with him. How? You don't get to be done. You don't get to be done till he in the grave. And I've had to say that to some parents. I've had to say that to some parents. You don't get to be done. He know how to turn that camera on. If he don't turn his camera on, that's on him. No, you don't get to let him fail. No. we That's not what we're doing here. We're not allowing our students to fail. And as a teacher, you don't get to let your students fail. Trust me, connection will change that. Connection will change that. So I want us to really think about the connecting with connecting with the kids and that will help motivate them. I promise you calling them by name is one thing that I love. If you just call the kids by their name when they walk through the door. Hey, Marcus. Hey, Patrick. 
Oh, Tiffany, I like that shirt. Rochelle, you are on time today. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Tell me, tell them what you love about their action and they will continue to do that thing. Okay, let me talk to my adults. Come on, adults, let's talk about dating. When you're dating and the person you're dating, you say, I love when you bring me a Snickers. Guess what they gonna do? Bring you a Snickers because they wanna make you smile. Kids are the same way. Kids are the same way. I used to tell my kids in the hood, in Cabrini Green, in the projects, I would tell them, I love when all my kids in the seat in their seats on time. Oh, it makes me feel good. <laughs> Guess what? It took them a minute, but then they got it. They would be there on time. The kids would be there on time. So you have to develop that with that kid. They'll still students. I don't say that kid, all of the kids. I promise you, they love it. They love it. Have a song you sing. Welcome to the party. It's the class, class party. Hey, and guess what's going to happen? Don't let them miss the song. The bad, um, did I call him bad? The angel that flaps his wing the most, give him the leading part. If he got to direct the quiet, I don't care what he do. I don't care class can't start till he tap the bell. Whatever. That's how you channel it. That's how you channel that energy. You bring them into the class. You bring them in, y'all. We can do this. And I want y'all to know it can be done. We can motivate our students. We truly can motivate our students. All it takes is just that one moment in time for them. And you keep pouring into your kids every single day. And guess what? You may not know their name now, but if you make it a priority, you may know it by now, but you still may not. Because they've been on, they haven't been in your class. You haven't had to call their name six times. So begin to just use that. Over the summer, we had a hundred kids on Zoom. I would slide to the, all the pages and call two or three names off each page. I'm sliding. I'm sliding. Because guess what? I don't care if they camera not on. I'd be like, all right, Tiffany, let me know when you're ready. When your camera come on, I'll be waiting on you, baby. And I'll keep on going. But I keep, lo keep loving on them. Keep loving on them. All right, y'all. It is our job to motivate our students. Motivation is not always done at home. That's what I wanted you guys to know. All right. You know, I got to play the class. So this is how we end. So we know. So we end on. That's it. That's all. Says the clock on the wall. Let's go. Oh, let me see. Uh-oh. I had, to, I had to pull this up because Portia said out of 80 students, only three turned their cameras on, but the school made it not mandatory. I am the dance teacher. Got it. Oh, I would I would have color wars. I would, Portia, I promise you, I would do a color war. I would, you get extra points today if you wear a certain color. Only way I can see it, you got your colors on. It would be certain things like it would be where they could win with their camera on. Oh, you know what? Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep going. I promise you it'll pay off. And one of the things I always post is that we're the farmers that never reap. We're the farmers that sometime never reap the harvest. We're the farmers that sometime never reap the harvest. Because guess what? That seed may not grow until they get in a grade later. They get we teaching in fifth grade. And in seventh grade, it clicked because that teacher watered that seed that we planted. So we're the planters. And we may not be around for that season when it begins to grow. I hate that. I had one kid come back and I was like, he was like, hi, Miss Humphrey. And he's like, I was like, he was like, yeah, I know. I got a business degree though. Who? Boy, shut up. You got a business degree? He was like, I promise I do. I said, no way. And because he said, I, all of the, and they, they used to tell me every time we come in your office, you used to preach to us. You used to preach to us. And it began to, you know, I was, and I used to tell them what I see. So I began to tell them what I saw in them when they were younger. I see a businessman. I see an amazing da-da-da-da. And I used to pour into them. 
And look, I was a disciplinarian and we had over 1200 students in, in our school. And I was one of the ones that could suspend a kid and they leave my office smiling. They will leave my office smiling because I don't have to berate you to suspend you. You still get your consequences. But what happens is I don't have to make you feel bad. I have to beat you down. I can build you up and suspend you because I was sitting there go, you know, you know, you're getting a two piece, right? They'd be like, I know. I say, and you're getting a side because you're going to write a paper too. I used to give them a two piece and a side. So, you know, now you're getting a five piece because you didn't lost your mind today. But I began to, it, it wasn't about berating them because they made a mistake or they made a bad choice. It was about building. And sometimes we forget that because we want them to feel bad instantly. But they're at their low, they're getting consequence. So we don't have to go off on them, but we have to build them in that season. Because I know, I remember the times when I made mistakes. My mother was this type of mother. My mother said, you can make a mistake. You can do something wrong, but don't ever let nobody else tell me. Don't let nobody else tell me what my baby did. So when my students would come into the office and I had to do discipline, I told them, don't let nobody else tell me what you did. I can handle it if you tell me. But if you lie to me, it's going to be a different consequence. So don't let nobody tell me what you did. You talk to me. Even in the midst of the chaos and the confusion and the suspension was coming, that was building trust in that moment. Every time. And it was some kids, they start telling each other, they'll be in the office going, don't lie. Oh, don't lie to them. Just don't lie to them. Man, you might as well tell the truth. You know how she is. So it'll pay off. You just got to keep planting the right seeds over and over again. Keep planting the right seeds. I never called, they called them frequent flyers. I, I'm not calling them a frequent flyer. They're an angel that flap their wings a lot. Satan was an angel. I just want to say that. But hey, what you doing? So you even when they mess up, we can't go off. We don't have to. We don't have to do that. We have to build every chance we get. Build, build, build. All right, y'all done kept me on. Quit playing. All right, that's it. That's all. Says the clock on the wall. Y'all be back with us tomorrow night, eight p.m. All week we're talking about motivation. How teachers should be motivating their students could be motivating their students. There may be some things that you haven't thought about. That we're gonna bring it up. Hey, Tika, that's one of my babies right there. Hey, she was my baby when she was in middle school. What's up, girl? All right, that's it. That's all. Says the clock on the wall. Go be amazing on purpose, y'all. Let the bell ring. <laughs>